Beckett. Oh, hi. Brad. Uh... Uh, no, 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 it's not too last minute. Actually, my plans for tonight just fell through. Who's Brad? Mm. Must be Laney's friend. You know him? Yeah, met him once. Good guy. Fireman. Mm. Was in the FDNY calendar. Chiseled good looks. Rock hard abs. Oh, and get this. Once during a fire, after saving the parents and the kids, he went back in for the puppies. See you then. Did she just flip her hair? I'm telling you, bro. Puppies. Okay. Guess them every time. Puppies. Bye. Yes, Mr. Maitland? What? Oh, great. You're smiling. Uh, thank you very much for your question. So? Wow. Uh, are you guys going out? I pulled some strings and got us into a party at the British Consulate tonight. Nigel will be there. We'll get his prints and he won't even know it. Cheers, lads. Or they could do that. Yeah, sure. I want to do it the easy way. Aha! The real police. Here to give us some pointers? Mr. Valentine, Richard Castle. I'm a big fan. Of you. Yeah. What about you, detective? Are you a fan? Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Valentine, we need to talk. Sure. Let's go to my dressing room. Surely you've seen some of my work. Starfleet, family practice, my, uh, my car rental commercials. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I did catch my fair share of hot suspect reruns uh, and <laughs> I knew it! The cop watched the cop show. Come on, I inspired you to become a detective, didn't I? Huh? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're investigating a murder, right? Right, yeah. Uh, so, we checked Sid's phone records, and apparently he called you at 9.03 last night. Can you tell us why? Yeah, I was supposed to have drinks with Sid and his ex, Evelyn. But Sid called last minute to cancel. You and Sid were going out with his ex-wife. Isn't that a little odd? Not for us. Sid and Evelyn split 20 years ago, but we were all still close friends. Did he say why he was canceling? Afraid not. Anything about a deal at midnight? No, but he was going somewhere because while we were on the phone, I literally bumped into him leaving the building from the private entrance. Wait, Sid was leaving the building none of his murder? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Valentine, did he mention meeting with someone? Please, call me Danny. And no, Sid didn't say where he was going. But I did see something strange. He went into the subway on the corner. And why was that strange, Danny? Well, you had an around-the-clock driver, so why would he take mass transit? Unless it was a secret rendezvous. Wherever Sid went, he obviously didn't want anyone to know about it. Oh, come on, Castle. He was flirting with me. I can't control that. But you were flirting right back. Yeah, but what was I supposed to do? He's Danny freaking Valentine. <sighs> oh, man. I can't wait to go home and just slip into a warm bath and you I don't. Have... Please? Don't. I was just going to say I'm starving. We left the restaurant before I had a chance to finish my entree. Okay. Well, it wouldn't have mattered if you did. The portions there were tiny. Uh, you know, Remy's is open all night. They've got those burgers. Oh, those shakes. Oh, why not? Mm. So how did your date go? It was kind of boring. Didn't talk much. Ugh. Mr. July? A little self-absorbed. Looked it. Really? You can tell. Some people just don't know how to behave on a date. Especially on a first date. Exactly.